must marry him. You're obsessed with everything that Imran Khan does. It was the age of foolishness. <laughs> well, Happy New Year to all of our midweek crisis watchers. Um, I had quite a, an explosive end to the year, but um, not as fiery as Imran Khan uh, in, in Pakistan. Apparently, the Federal Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Mariam Arangzeb, um, castigated poor old Imran, the leader of Tariq A. Insa, PTI, for his strange tweet on the occasion of New Year. So what was this strange tweet? Well, apparently he was in a reflective mode as well. And he termed 2022 as the best and worst of time. Now, she said, oh, this is a really bizarre tweet. Well, actually, Mariam, you're wrong, because I thought it was quite deep. He was obviously making reference to the opening lines in Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities, which was all about the French Revolution and a brilliant book. Um, in fact, Miriam, do yourself a favour and read it. And it starts off with, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. And let's face it, Miriam, you could do with some of that. It was the age of foolishness. <laughs> it was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way and that is how a tale of two cities starts and it's quite a description quite a good description for pakistan this year i think when he says it was the best of times he's referring to all those magnificent marches and rallies where the people of pakistan pulled together and came together and let the authorities in Islamabad know that they won't be fooled again. The worst of times, yeah, I can see that as well after the horrendous flooding. The stories from the charities and the images that came out were horrific. And of course, it's probably all down to climate change. So yes, that was a bad time. The season of light, the season of darkness. Well, I would imagine standing in front of adoring crowds who are chanting your name and wanting you back in power, that must be quite intoxicating. But then being shot, and coming within an inch, maybe even less, of his life, that would have been a period of darkness for Imran Khan. Anyway, that's my assessment. So, Mariam, get over yourself. You know, you're saying that uh, Imran Khan is a strange tweeter, a man who is self-obsessed. The only obsession I see is you. Because, Mariam, you're obsessed with everything that Imran Khan does. Every tweet he makes, everything that he writes down. Get over yourself. Yes, I'm a big fan of Imran Khan. Yes, I would like him to see uh 
to be back in power in Pakistan because Pakistan is a great country. The people are amazing. And the country should be up there soaring, providing lots of jobs. And, and it's one of my biggest sadnesses is the state of Pakistan because the people don't deserve it. And it's about time they had a good and powerful leadership that could put Pakistan right up there as a productive, economically sound country. So I can see why Imran would say 2022 was the best and the worst of times. I hope 2023 is the year where he is propelled back to where he should be, which is in power. Anyway, my blessings for, for peace and love and tolerance for 2023 go direct to Pakistan, a country that is forever in my heart. Salam alaikum. <laughs>